Well, this used to be a regular nursing home, but it closed in October of last year, and then months later, reopened with a different mission, treating COVID-only residents. Many hands made for light work in Meriden. Only our cameras were allowed inside as the National Guard set up the rooms of the previously abandoned Westfield Meriden Specialty Care Facility, where COVID positive patients discharged from the hospital would continue their fight. We had the National Guard in here with DPH this morning and they looked at our PPE supplies and were amazed at how extensive our supplies are. Stacked floor to ceiling, boxes of crucial PPE, Tyvek coveralls, and N95 masks. And speaking of masks, each one is fit tested. And we spray it through this little hole. and we see if they can taste it. I can taste it. A concentrated sugar solution is sprayed while wearing the mask. If the user cannot taste it, it's an airtight fit. So that tells us that she has a good seal there, which gives us airborne protection. The test gets repeated for every new N95 used. This one happens to be a 3M8511. Used masks get placed in paper bags. But staff safety starts at the front door. Temperature checks and pulse oxygen readings for staff. Have you had any signs or symptoms of coughing, sneezing, sore throat, shortness of breath, no. fatigue, or GI symptoms? No. None of the above today. Westfield Specialty Care in Meriden was the fourth COVID recovery center in the state to be stood up. Three weeks into operations, they've only had 14 patients. Right now, if our uh, facility isn't needed, then I would think that yes, we would close and that would be a good thing because our services wouldn't be needed. And while one did recover, two have passed away. Families saying goodbye. And they were actually able to come into the facility properly garbed with our PPE and spend some last moments with their loved ones. It was extremely emotional and very touching. Meant as an intermediate level of care between the hospital and home, COVID recovery centers have played a key role in Connecticut's surge plan. Here's a look at how many patients have been treated at and have recovered from the virus at the first two COVID recovery centers in Sharon and Bridgeport. I think it's a great concept because you're keeping all of the disease in one place. All the PPE is here and you're treating everybody the same. So it really, I don't feel compromised in any way stepping into the building every day. And Donna told me that because they're treating only about a dozen patients, they can really focus on specialized individual care. They have three registered nurses and six certified nurses assistants. Reporting in Meriden, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.